Okay, folks, and a big shout out to Liberty, guys, you rock. Okay, now, folks, the two main homeostatic control mechanisms that you, it, it's part of the endocrine system and it's part of the homeostasis area, is your blood, blood sugar, blood glucose, glucose. They all mean the same thing, and your thyroid, thyroxin negative feedback mechanisms. Okay, so what are we looking at? If we have the glucose levels or blood sugar levels, etc., etc., we're going to start here as I'm going to make this normal. So there's my, you must know this because they can give, they're going to give you this in some form. Okay. And also remember, you must be able to, to, to invert it. Okay. So just look at what I'm doing and I promise you now, it is so easy to get 100% for this. Okay. So first thing is going to be here. We're going to have, I'm just going to put um, glucose level um, increases. Why would it increase? And these are the questions I'll ask you. So why will it increase? We eat, okay? Or we have adrenaline pumped into our body because we've just had a very big fright. So any adrenaline um, having just eaten a chocolate and, and, and a cool drink or a meal, um, all of that is going to lift our blood sugar. So blood glucose level increases. What that does is, now remember this is glucose and that's in the blood. And this blood flows around over the pituitary, I mean the pancreas. So we have the pancreas and the pancreas then uh, um, secretes insulin. And I'm going to do another color, and I'm going like that. Okay, so it, it releases insulin. The insulin is a hormone. So what does it do? It travels in the blood. And where does it go? It goes to the target organs, the liver, and muscle cells. And it tells those, it causes the liver and the muscle cells to now, and th this is what's important, to convert glucose to glycogen and store it. Okay, because remember, glycogen is insoluble. So it's not going to cause havoc in your body like, for example, glucose does in your blood. It, 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 the glycogen is lovely. It, it cannot, it, it's osmotically inactive. All right. So now in the blood, we are going to have glucose because the glucose has been converted into glycogen. So glucose level decreases. See what's happened? We had an increase. Now we have a decrease. It's gone in the up. Opposite direction. This doesn't go in the diagram. This is me explaining to you. Okay, there's your negative feedback. Okay, all right, now down it goes, boom, boom, and we're back to normal. When the opposite happens, so let's say um, we're going to have. Glucose level decreases. So when would the when would the glucose level be low in your body? Um, and I'm put back in brackets here low, and I'm going to put here high. Okay. When would it be low? It would be low when you've been sleeping and you haven't eaten. You haven't eaten. Um, so. It's going to be, low. oh, okay, and also, I just remembered, if you have exercised, so if you've trained for, for an hour, okay, or you've done a 30 or 40 or 100k cycling race, guess what, you, your blood sugar is in the floor, so 
blood glucose level is low, and that clearly is in the blood. So what happens? The same pancreas is stimulated and releases. Now, glucagon. And the way you are going to remember this hormone is it is when glucose is gone. Glucagon. Glucose is gone. That's how you'll remember it. Insulin is when you have too much glucose, you want less. You want to store. That's why you've seen ads where they draw about uh, uh, um, insulin resistance for people that pick up weight very easily. Okay, so insulin stores for another time. Glucagon is when your glucose in your blood is gone. Glucagon kicks in. So what do you think glucagon does? Glucagon, where have I got back to yellow here? Glucagon goes in the blood to the target organs, the liver and the muscle cells. And it causes them to convert. Now remember, we've got two little glucose. So to convert glycogen, which is stored glucose, to glucose. And what is the result of that? Look at this. The glucose level increases. Okay. And everything's back to normal. And what do we have here? Here it was low. We had the opposite direction causing it to go up. And we have another negative feedback system here taking place. It went down, we make it go up. Here, it went up and we make it go down. People, you need to know this. You've got to know how the body works. So, blood sugar goes up, we've eaten. Pancreas is stimulated and they and the alpha at least the, the beta cells release insulin. Insulin says uh-uh, tells the liver and the muscle cells, the target organs, to convert glyco glucose to glycogen and store it. Blood gl glucose level goes down. We get back to normal. Okay. Back at normal, but it keeps going down now. So something has to tell it, listen, wait, wait, wait. You've got to start going up again. So blood sugar levels low. We've exercised. We haven't eaten because we've been sleeping for eight hours. And what happens? The pancreas, the alpha cells release a, a glucagon, the hormone that's released when your blood glucose is low. Glucose is gone. Also, same target organ, the liver and the muscle cells. It says, listen, guys. Please, can you convert glucose to a, 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 a glycogen, the stored glucose, glycogen back to glucose so we can increase the blood glucose level because this poor body needs to focus. And you'll find when you, when you know people and, and they wake up in the morning and they are ready to conquer the world. They have all this energy. They can go for a 10K run and a 30K cycle and a 2K swim and they don't even work up a sweat. And you think, ah! When you get up, you just think, ah, oh, and you're half dead. That's because your glucagon levels are low. You need to make sure that you can increase your glucagon levels. How? Do a bit of exercises. Uh, do a couple of sit-ups. Um, just get it going. And the minute it gets going, your blood glucose level will pick up, and you'll feel a million dollars.